Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Dewan. I am here in KC at Dev Op Days with the host, Aaron Blythe. How's it going? My man. Yeah. So, Dev Ops Days, Dev Ops, Kubernetes, containers, um, developers, operations, all of this coming together. You want to talk a little bit, I would say, let's start with first, who you are and how you got started in DevOps? Absolutely. Um, so I started, I uh, was at Cern Corporation probably about seven or eight years ago, and we were deploying all of our applications, and the way that you deploy them was you take a, a, a war or something, and you hand that over to someone else, and then they put it on the machine, then something's broken, and you're like, can I get onto that machine and get some uh, logs? And they're like, no, you can't. I can send you the logs. So then you play this game of telephone back and forth, like, here's a new war, here, give me some logs, here's a new war, give me some logs. And we knew there had to be a better way. So we started with a, building a tool chain where we could automate and deploy. And then we got the logs into another tool so that everyone could see those and we had the right RBAC type of controls and stuff. And so we started putting all these things together and around that time, the DevOps movement was uh, starting to hit full swing. So it was, it was really like just the exact right timing. The industry solving the problems that we're seeing and we worked with different vendors, we worked with each other. And a big part of DevOps, what I've learned over time, is it's not just about building that tool chain, it's also the culture that goes with this. So you've got two areas of the company that were held apart for reasons. Right. I don't know what the reasons are. Like, you got different executives, they've got different um, goals and views. And so, like, we've got a culture change that's got to go on with this tool transformation, and you got to put all that together. And that's what DevOps really is about is the dev developers and the operations taking their ways of life, which are both great ways of life, right. finding the best of them and putting them together. Yeah, I'm, I really um, like the concept. Not even just concept, the process of DevOps, call it the process of DevOps. Um, because oftentimes as a network engineer, I'm reactive. Yep. And I'm forced to be reactive. But um, DevOps allows me to um, break things down into smaller iterations and then also be involved with the development process and the project process when we're putting out um, products. I think that's cool. Yeah. yeah. So then from there, uh, about six years ago, uh, actually, seven years ago, we started meeting just at four o'clock, and I would bring, uh, I would get some like money, like you know, twenty, fifty dollars that I could expense, and get soda. We'd have a meetup uh, on company time, four o'clock at the end of the day, so that people could leave at five. From then, we started doing something in the community where everyone was available to come onto campus, and uh, that would be after work. That'd be like five thirty to seven thirty. That went on for about three years, and then I was like, well, let's get together, because there's people putting together these conferences. Let's do one of those in Kansas City. And that was about four years ago, and this is the fourth one that we've done. Right. And DevOps Days, it just, it just incrementally grows a little bit. All volunteer run. Right. Uh, practitioners. Um, we have some uh, CIOs, some CISOs, and some CEOs, but for the most part, it's the people doing the work, like yeah. that are here um, presenting the work that they do, um, learning about the things, and then we have this brilliant idea of open spaces. And in open spaces, we get in a room, and we talk about whatever everyone wants to talk about. <laughs> we had a great conversation today about pay. <laughs> very interesting, not even interesting, just a very enlightening, um, inviting, everybody was involved, informative conversation about pay across the board. It was all unanimous. That was a great idea. So what I loved about uh, that meeting that we had is we had this survey, people put in all their numbers, and then I wrote the numbers on the board, and the magic was like, once everyone saw the numbers, they're like, oh, I see that I'm in there yeah. somewhere, right? They moved on past like, the number's not the important part. People started talking about happiness at work. They started talking about the people that make them unhappy. They talked about benefits. They talked about time off. They talked about um, different costs of living in different places, possible remote work, like what's that like? Right. And I feel like there's people in the room that like had never had the opportunity to have someone talk about those things yeah. in front of them because it's so taboo. You don't talk about it. Like it's almost ingrained. Like someone comes yeah. up to me afterwards and goes, my, my parents just beat it into me when I was a kid. Like we don't talk we about don't money. talk about money, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's, but I like to talk about money. I like money. I, I like money too. <laughs> and I think we should talk about it because um, the more... I find out what people make, 
then it's like, okay, what skill sets do they have? Mm -hmm. Do I have the same skill sets? Okay, what soft skills do they have? Do I have those same soft skills? Okay, do they have a degree? Do they have certifications? It, I just think it's just informing it to help each other grow. Yeah. One of the biggest soft skills uh, that I'm promoting uh, with everybody that I'm mentoring right now is do this. Smart, start small, but work on allowing yourself not to be the one that came up with the idea. Mm -hmm. Even if you did come up with the idea, talk to somebody and say, you know, you're really good at solving this problem. Have you ever thought about solving it this way? How would you go about it if you were going to solve it this way? And then help guide them because they'll be more receptive to that because people take value out of being an expert on something, right? Yeah. Now you've got to let go of your ego because really you were the one that did the thought all night and the night before about how to solve this. But in the end, like the, the frustration of I'm the one that solved it and then it gets stopped by somebody is going to, it's going to hold you back. It's going to hold your company back. If you can get someone else uh, to, to just give them the lift. So the big thing is about making other people successful. Like once you get comfortable making other people successful, yeah. you can, you can really step up fast. You ever seen like the team cyclists on how they travel like in packs? Yes. And, like, one person to lead and pull the pack and then he'll fall back to the back mm -hmm. and somebody else pulls. I feel like in your career, like on teams, that's the way it should be. Yeah. Kind of that you build momentum together. You know what I mean? And I feel like today one of the themes of t this Casey DevOps was collaboration mm -hmm. and DevOps in general. I really like that. Yeah. Because if you go to a DevOps community, it's, it's about collaboration and people working together, and I think that's cool. I think the organizer group that I have uh, working uh, on this thing has taught me so much about that collaboration. Like, I think that's another thing uh, that people can try is uh, if you're passionate about something and it's not what you work on, like, go, go be part of a group like, or go lead a group and whatever it is. But like, make sure you got something that like, makes you happy. Uh, if, if, if work isn't it, start building something on the side and then get your way into work. But the, the core thing is you got to find something that makes you happy because like, if you're not happy, you're not going to make people around you happy. And, right, right. Yeah. Hey, I got a question. I know we're talking about KC DevOps days. Um, how does someone get started in DevOps? Because a lot of my audience hear the DevOps engineer, they see what they make, and they're like, but how do I get started? You wanna kinda of talk about that? That's a great question. Uh, no matter where you're at, there's probably a meetup of some sort here in Kansas City. We've got the, um, the DevOps meetup, but we also have an AWS meetup. We have a cloud security meetup. I would say start off, just go to one and start talking to somebody about what they do. Uh, even in dev and ops, the, one of the things we used to call it hug an ops person, <laughs> right? Like, uh, like understand what the other person does, right. right? If you're a dev, understand what the ops person does. If you're an ops, understand what the other person does. Because a lot of times, like one of the things I think is so weird about corporate America is we call it teams, hmm. right? You work on a team. Anywhere else in your life, if you're playing sports, what are you doing on a team? Trying to beat that other team, right? right? And so like a lot of times at work, like- and you're competing with other teams within the company. Yeah. And it shouldn't be like that. But you should all have a common goal, right? right? So the way that you start breaking it down so that your team is bigger and envelops other teams is going and listen. So for someone just, just getting in, go to some meetups and listen. Right. Then ask questions and listen to those answers. And then from there, I, I'm, I'm actually personally going through the AWS cert cycle right now. And uh, I get on Udemy, uh, I have a, an account on there where I get the emails. Okay. I wait for the price to come down from like $150 down to like a $12 right. uh, thing. Yeah. And then I, I buy those um, courses and then I watch them and I watch them again. I watch them on double speed yeah. uh, while I'm driving to the cops. <laughs> uh, uh, but I, I just soak and soak and soak as much information as I can, and then I go and sit for the test. You gotta get above that watermark. Like, I wasn't shooting for 100%. Right. I think the, the line was like 72. I got above that, I have the certification. Congratulations, nice. man. Yes, sir. That, that's a, um, past the certification, what I found in my career has been like that. It's something that gives me that boost. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They're kind of, encouraging you to grow and to move on and to get a raise. Yeah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So we're talking about DevOps. We're at DevOps days. 
Um, there's DevOps days all around the country. Is there, um, is there an event that people should be on the lookout for coming up? Let's see. Uh, the, uh, actually, next week, there will be a DevOps Days 10-year uh, anniversary in Ghent, Belgium. Hmm. Uh, if, if any viewers are out there in Ghent, Belgium, you should get to this. There's going to be um, some of the, the best minds in DevOps that have been collected for 10 years will all be uh, in that area. Uh, things coming up uh, that I'm interested in. I'm going to be in Boston uh, speaking on Monday while that DevOps Days uh, in Ghent's going on. That's awesome. And uh, DevSecOps Days is a new thing. There's one in Austin uh, in December that I've really got my eye on. Okay, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Well, Aaron, I thank you for taking time to do this interview. Before we leave, is there anything you want to share with the people? Any words of encouragement, anything like that? I think the biggest thing is, like, go after your passion. Um, find something that makes you happy. Find a way to make other people around you successful. Um, if you stick to those core values... Like you can do anything. Like you can you can uh, do a lot of uh, things that you didn't think were possible. But make sure that you're good to people. Cool. Hey man, thank you. Thank you, man. Thanks for inviting me to KC DevOps Days, and maybe we'll do this again next year. Awesome. Yes, it's amazing, man. Yes. I really like you. Hey, you are too, bro. You yes. are too. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. Cool.